Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle and I'm the owner of Damn Fancy Creations and the Drunk Flamingo Glitter. If you guys are new to my channel, I do want to let you know that all of my links and groups are posted in the description below in case y'all want to check them out. Today's tutorial is a perfect example of how you can salvage a tumbler and it still look really pretty and sometimes even turn out better than you were expecting. I love all of the colors in this tumbler and I think it's perfect for fall. Everything that you see listed here is going to be covered in our tutorial today. I will also point out how I royally screwed up this tumbler and how I went about fixing it and repairing it so it still looked really good. If you guys have any questions about a step I did or product that I use, please just ask in the comments below or in my tutorial group and I will come answer them for you. But for now, we're going to go ahead and get started on this tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, so the very first thing we're going to do is start with a prepped tumbler. I like to spray paint mine with Rust-Oleum flat, or if you can't find Rust-Oleum, Color Shot matte white is also a good option. I am just going to coat this with epoxy. My favorite epoxy is Artistry's 121 Fast Set. If you guys have not tried them, I do have a discount code and a link below so you guys can try them out. I typically use a little bit more than most people would for the epoxy method. You really don't need this much, but I really like my epoxy to soak up all of that glitter so that everything is super flat on my tumbler. That way, when I come back and apply my second coat of epoxy, everything is super, super smooth. For this particular tumbler and the design that I'm doing, I am not applying glitter to the bottom of my tumbler, so I am not going to epoxy the very bottom during this step. So once I have my epoxy on, I'm going to go straight to sprinkling my glitter. There's really no need to pop bubbles since this epoxy layer is going to be underneath the glitter you're not going to see any of those micro bubbles or anything like that this color is bone daddy it was a new color that i have in the drunk flamingo that i was trying out and i love how it looks it's one of my favorite fall glitter mixes that i have currently i'm just going to pour a little bit in a little solo cup just to help with applying it and we're just going to sprinkle this glitter all over our tumbler. And since this glitter is an opaque glitter film, um, the base color is not really going to matter. You can do it whatever color you want, but it's not going to show through the glitter because the glitter is all opaque. If you are using an iridescent glitter or something that w was opal or had a shift, then you would need to test your base color to make sure it's not going to affect the color of your glitter. So we're just going to continue sprinkling this glitter on, making sure all of that white is covered. And when I get to the bottom, I'm just going to sprinkle it right up to that edge. We're not going to sprinkle any glitter on the bottom of the cup. And now that we're done applying that glitter, we're just going to tap down any little glitter pokies that you see poking up. I know some people like to use parchment paper. This one really didn't have a whole lot of glitter sticking up, so I didn't really see the need to breaking out a whole sheet of paper or anything. There were just maybe five little glitters that were poking up that I just barely patted down with my finger. 
So after that layer of epoxy dries, we're going to apply another layer. I believe this cup had one, maybe two layers of epoxy on it. And then we're going to get ready to apply our little lines. And I am using electrical tape for this tumbler. I typically use painter's tape when I do stripes of any kind, but I wanted my stripes a little bit thinner than my normal stripes. And now my electrical tape is a big ball. So <laughs> I'm going to have to cut that off and redo another stripe. And I am just matching up the sides as best I can. I'm going to do four of the stripes with electrical tape. And then we're going to go back and do some smaller stripes. In my mentorship group, we just did a Halloween tumbler this past month. And I used um, some thicker stripes and I used some thinner pinstripes for a peekaboo. And I thought it turned out so cool and fun. That really thin strip of glitter that was peeking through just gave it an extra kind of wow factor. It was just really cool. So I decided to do that on this tumbler as well. And I was really glad that I did decide to do that. And yes, I could measure with a measuring tape, but my little flamingo pen works just as well. So now that I have my thicker stripes on. We're going to add some pin stripes right in between the two electrical tape lines. And if you guys watch my videos, y'all know whenever I do pin stripes, I cut out 12 by 12 sheets. I typically do 0 0.07, 0 0.05, and 0 0.03 sizes. That way I have a variety of sizes on hand at all times. And I have multiple sizes so I can layer them if I, if I need to. And then I also use the space in between the pinstripes as an extra line. I space them all out the same. That way I'm able to use the entire sheet of vinyl. And once you have your vinyl on and your tape, we are ready to spray paint. So this spray painting process, we're going to use Nantucket Blue. It is one of my favorite blues by Rust-Oleum. I think it is the perfect fall color. We're also going to use Winter Gray, also by Rust-Oleum. And sorry for the dog barking in the background. That's not mine. So we are going to start with spraying the Nantucket Blue on the bottom half of the tumbler and just kind of ombre it up to the middle. Sometimes I don't have the best light on my back porch, but I try to spray it to where you guys can see. So after we have our Nantucket blue on the bottom half of the tumbler, we're going to take the light gray and we're going to spray that on the top half of the tumbler and kind of ombre that or fade it into the blue. Since this is the first layer, it's not really, you know, you don't have to get your ombre perfect. This is all going to be covered up with more paint when we do our next step. So now we are going to let this tumbler dry completely and then we are going to be ready for our next step. So once the first layer of gray and blue spray paint has dried completely, we are going to apply some more pinstripes. Now you definitely want your tumbler to be dry when you do this step because we don't want these pinstripes that we're about to apply to pull up the underneath paint. If it does, we won't get the look that we're going for. I will typically use 
metallic pinstripe lines because I find that it does not stick as well to regular spray paint as white or black or regular sticky adhesive vinyl. The metallic, I don't know, it's, the adhesive is not as strong, I would say. And I'm also not pressing these down super firm. I'm just kind of placing them on the tumbler. because these will be removed. So I'm just going in between the electrical tape and the pinstripe and applying one and then going in between the other pinstripe and electrical tape. So I think I end up with eight of these pinstripes And I believe the size I'm using for these pinstripes is 0 0.07. I think they are the largest ones that I had. So this is our last pinstripe. And then we are going to take this and we're going to spray paint the tumbler again, but with the opposite colors. Okay, so now we are going to take our Nantucket blue and we're going to spray this on the top half of our tumbler and we're going to spray it right up to where that ombre starts it was very windy today too so my paint was blowing all over the place I was having to hold it closer to the tumbler than I normally would and there's Birdie she had to make her appearance She's sitting out here with me now, waiting for her dear friends. We just got done feeding them carrots. So once you have the Nantucket Blue on the top half of the cup, we're going to take the Winter Gray, and we're going to spray that on the bottom half of the cup. So we're doing the opposite colors. Wherever you sprayed the blue before, you're now spraying the gray. Wherever you sprayed the gray before, we're spraying the blue. And since this is going to be our last coat of spray paint, we're going to work on this ombre a little bit, get the ombre how we want it or the gradient. And so we're going to go back in with our Nantucket blue and we're going to spray it a little bit more down the cup and just kind of blend those colors a little bit better. So I'm trying to move in the sun so you guys can see a little bit better how I'm spraying. My yard is very sloped, so it's hard to set up my little iPad stand out in my yard without it falling over. But basically, you're just going to work on your ombre until you're happy with it. The further away you spray your spray paint, the less concentrated the paint is going to be on your tumbler. So I will usually hold my spray paint a little further back and just kind of work on those colors until I'm happy with the result. And I'm spraying very, very light coats. That way we don't get any drips. But when you're happy with your colors, we're going to let this dry and then we will be ready to remove all of our tape and pin stripes. So I am just going to start peeling off our tape. Look at that beautiful glitter. I love these colors against the blue and gray. This is definitely one of those tumblers that was hard for me to let go. So 
So I'm just peeling off all the electrical tape first because this is super easy to remove. We're just peeling it off of epoxy so I don't have to worry about paint peeling up or any of that. Then we're going to go peel off our little glittered pinstripes, which I am super happy about. I love how they look. And then we're going to go and peel off all of the pinstripes that are basically going to be paint pinstripes that are in between. So now you look at these pinstripes and this is the effect that you get. So since we sprayed twice, it's like a peekaboo spray paint pinstripe and a peekaboo glitter pinstripe. So the pinstripes are the opposite colors that we spray painted our tumbler. I just think it has a really cool look. And initially, this is where I was going to stop with this tumbler. After I applied my decal and epoxied, this is how this tumbler was going to look like. But I ended up messing it up, which I will tell you guys all about in a little bit. But for now, we're going to put a layer of epoxy on this cup. So we are going in with the same epoxy we used before, Artistry's one-to-one -one fast set. I love this epoxy because it does not have an odor. It does not stay on your clothes after you have used it. It is dry to the touch in two hours. You guys can see that I do have a, hum um, a dehumidifier beside my tumblers. This helps drastically during warmer months. Um, it helps that epoxy cure really, really quick. When I was first using Artistry, I was having a little trouble with it. Still feeling a little tacky, but it wasn't tacky. And Callie suggested a dehumidifier. I got a cheap one off of Amazon and it fixed my problem instantly. But y'all, this epoxy has the best shine, hands down, very, very minimal bubbles, and it can be used as a top coat. So after I put my epoxy on, I am just wiping all of the excess epoxy off. And we are wiping from bottom to top to smooth everything out. And I am going to go ahead and apply a layer of epoxy to this other tumbler. I will have a tutorial on this as well. And once I get the epoxy on both of these cups, I'm going to grab my torch and pop all the bubbles. I usually torch my cup for one full rotation just to make sure that the entire surface gets hit with the torch and I pop as many bubbles as I can. And after this epoxy layer is dry, we'll be ready for our next step. So now that this layer has dried, we are ready for our decal. I went ahead and sanded really good. I sanded around the rim. And I thought this would be really cute just to kind of put up one of the stripes, the Hello Fall. I also have pin stripes that I'm going to go and outline all of the glitter stripes that are on the tumbler and I did forget to mention that after I glittered the tumbler I decided that I wanted um, my bottom popped off I tried to like not pop off the bottom of one but it is just an addiction now so I pop off the bottom of all of my tumblers and since I did not epoxy that bottom I could just pop it off easily because it had just been spray painted um, I did take a little edger tool and also edge around the bottom. 
so that it had a nice clean rim on the bottom. If you guys have not used any of Brooke Tannehill's tools, she makes awesome tumbler tools. Um, I do have her link and a discount code in the description below. She's super sweet. So I'm just going to speed this process up a little bit more. I will let it play for those of you that want to watch, but I am just going to be outlining all of the glitter stripes with vinyl pinstripes. And I chose this rose gold. I thought it kind of brought out the rosy tones of the glitter and just kind of pulled some of that color into the blue. And right here, you can kind of see my problem. I have a bulge at the bottom of my cup. I am not sure how that happened. I wanna say on this particular tumbler, my turner arm was not in super well and it kind of stalled for a little bit. I thought my cup was dry, but it may have stalled a little bit before then and caused like a slight bulge at the bottom of my cup. And I didn't even notice it when I was doing this until right now. And I was like, hold on, what is happening right here? <laughs> so after I put all these pinstripes on for the video, I did end up pulling the pinstripes about halfway up. I took my palm sander and sanded this bottom rim because I thought it was just on the last layer of epoxy, but I don't think it was on the last layer of epoxy. This happened, I think, before then. So I ended up sanding through all of the spray paint. So then I tried to paint some more spray paint onto those sections that were bare and it just did not look good. It did not look up to my quality. I was not happy with it. I was so upset. I was going to strip the entire tumbler that I was like, hang on, just think about this. What can you do to salvage this cup? So I will show you guys what I did to save the tumbler after I sanded through all the spray paint and it looked awful. <laughs> so I am going to put on this decal this decal, um, this side of the tumbler was not affected. There's no bulge on this side. So I think my tumbler just kind of stopped midway or my arm came loose um, or I didn't have it in good enough. I'm not really sure what happened, but I will show you guys how I fixed my mistake. So if I had not screwed up, this is what the tumbler would look like. I really love how this looks, so I'm probably going to do another tutorial just on something like this. But for now, here is how I fixed my mess. So already you can see some of my little paint chips that were on here. Some of these parts are bare. Like I clearly sanded through all of the spray paint and it looks awful. I tried to repaint some spots, but you could still tell under epoxy. So I re-sanded everything extremely well, got rid of the little bulges, and I decided that I was just going to use the same glitter that I used for the peekaboo and kind of waterfall that up the tumbler, but leaving the text glitter free, if that makes sense. So I'm just cleaning my rim really good, making sure everything is off of the cup. So once everything is good and clean, I am going to tape off the bottom rim because I don't want glitter on the bottom part of the tumbler. And then we're going to tape off the section where the text is.
and I am going to be using Artistry's glitter glue to apply this glitter. So we are just taping off this section because I don't want this part to have any glitter. And I'm just cutting right along where the pinstripe is. Which, in the end, I really don't think it matters. So we're going to take some glitter glue. I'm just going to squirt some along the edge of the tumbler. Use my paintbrush. Pull that down. If you guys have not tried glitter glue, which is also by Artistry, definitely get some when you try their epoxy. This glitter glue is one of the best products I have used. Um, I typically used to apply all of my glitter with epoxy, but I really like the glitter glue. It's so much better than Mod Podge. Um, you get kind of a similar effect that you would with epoxy. It really helps the glitter kind of lay down flat and you get great coverage. So y'all can see I am just waterfalling this glitter down the edge of my tumbler, just kind of letting it fall. Then we're going to peel up all of our tape and let this dry really well. And then we're going to spray seal everything with Rust-Oleum two times and epoxy it, get everything smooth. And then you will be officially done with your tumbler. But I really like this look because it's kind of like the glitter from the inside is fading to the glitter on the outside. I don't know. It just gives a really cool look that I haven't seen before. Um, but it was just something different. And it definitely saved my tumbler because I was seriously ready to strip this. And I would have been so sad. <laughs> so once you are completely done epoxying the body of your tumbler, we are ready to do our glitter butt. So I'm going to go ahead and do two of them. So for the glitter butts, it depends on how full you want them. But I usually use about five mils for the smaller exterior cavity and about 10 for the center cavity. It may depend a little bit on the size of the tumbler that you're using. This orange cup is one that we did in my mentorship group that I love how it turned out. I am just mixing a few different glitter colors for our glitter butts, just kind of picking colors that will go with our cup. Then I'm going to apply our first color in the exterior cavity. And then I'll go back with my second color for the interior cavity. Once I get both of these cavities filled with glitter, I will pop the bubbles. And once this epoxy dries, I'm going to come back with a clear layer of epoxy and apply that to the entire bottom of the cup. That way, the very bottom of the cup is going to have that nice glass-like shiny feel that the rest of our tumbler has. If you just apply the glitter, it will still look good, but sometimes air bubbles or glitter grains will rise to the surface and it will have a grainy feel versus the slick glass-like feel.
And once your bottom is complete, your tumbler will be finished. So here are some finished pictures of this cup. I really, really love how it turned out. And sometimes screw ups can produce some of your best tumblers. Um, this one, I really love how it turned out. It really kind of makes you think outside the box to, on how to fix tumblers, but I'm really happy with the end result. If you guys decide to try something like this, please post in my groups and tag me because I love to see what you guys come up with. If y'all enjoyed this tutorial or learned something new, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to catch the next video coming up that was picked just for you. As always, if you're looking for more tips, tricks, or tutorials, be sure to check out my tutorial group or my mentorship group. Both are linked in the description. Thanks for watching.